Hello and welcome back to the Kerbal Space Program. My name is Nicky Brute and let's get cracking with some more hard mode. Now we took some contracts that we're going to do. Some things we need to try and achieve. So a bunch of uh, landed stuff. So let's do it. So what do we need to test? Okay, that can go away for a moment. The BIC rocket fuel booster that we need to test. Okay, so that we got the Rocco Max radial engine that we need to test. Two of them. Yep, so we've got that. The Separatron. Yep, we've got that. And the radial decoupler structural. the same thing it's a test everything let's launch that seems to be all fine good bit of science good bit of uh, reputation so that's brilliant So this is the next one we'll go for. It's got a good reputation bonus. I'm really, uh, really excited about that. But first, we need a new Kerbal. So we'll get Joe Dolph in. Lost. Built. KIA. Oh, it's not... I don't usually do that kind of thing. I normally am pretty good with my staging. That's a bit of pressure. Now I reckon... <laughs> we just got like you know a thousand bucks sitting in the water out there and uh, 30 science no worries we got that now and we'll uh, get some research happening there's nothing there that I really want nothing there that I really want I'm thinking it's down here fairings and the probe core very very important so that's free. That's free. These are all free. Grab all of these. So that's cheap. The Reflectotron is a good part for the... This one. And a small inline reaction wheel. So there we go. A bit of a spending spree. Now what that'll do is that'll allow us to, uh, to do a few things. Firstly, put up some satellites and things. Once we got, uh, once we've got um, solar panels, which are yeah, oh, we're so doing it. Solar panels. That comms one, we'll get that because it's cheap. So we've got solar panels. We've got probe cores. We in effect have satellites now, which uh, which is great. So I'm thinking that's what we'll do, is we'll put up a satellite next. We'll go with a new. See, this has got a 500 kilometer omnidirectional range, which is perfect for what we're after. Actually, all we need really is 
say three. Yeah, hopefully, no matter where the sun is, it'll have you know at least a part of a solar panel. You know what we can do? We can have one on top, just like that. Right. That is so not straight. satellite am I? Looks like a hunk of junk. Yeah. There we go. Now yeah, they evenly spaced that. This, this will come later when uh, we get some more stuff going on. the payload right so that's what we're taking all the Delta B too. 
Absolute tons. Okay. Right. So, as we're going up, this stage is going to be in here somewhere. Okay. That stage is going to be there with that. This is going to be the uplink. <laughs> this is going to be the first communication satellite for us, anyway. Uh, so that's that. That's nice. Okay. No launch clamps, which is unfortunate. And this is in three symmetry. That needs to be full. Okay, it needs to be like that. That out. That's out there. Save. Launch. I hope for the best. science from space around Kerbin. There you go. Never realised. Now, the sun is going down, so we better get on with this night launch. Or late day launch, whatever you call it. Now this should get us most of the way uh, into orbit. It's a big long stage. I'm just going to move that up there. Let's see if we can actually fly a decent, uh, decent rocket mission. Now this thing doesn't want to turn. What's this? Too fast. I can't turn this thing. Why is that? Can I turn it now? What is happening here? Now it lets me turn it. God damn it. What's that? Okay. Well, we need to go sideways rather fast. Unless they're not active. Electric charge is looking real nice. Okay, that apoapsis is pushing away from us so we can really tilt over and get belting. Satellite. Ready to go ski. And what I'm aiming for is about 500,000. Thereabouts. Let's go for 450 actually. So 450 is probably a good number. Oh, this is going to be a problem. 
We're gonna run out of our link. Oh shit. I'm gonna have to do some horsing around here, I'm thinking. Let's if I get this out of the atmosphere, I'll be much, much happier. The uplink, uplink, Nick. Yep, there it goes. So we're dead in the water until we come around again. <laughs> Which isn't going to be... Oh man, this is moving away from us. So I have good news and bad news. God damn it, I am struggling. This is no connection. Flight computer. What the fuck, where'd that come from? I should have went harder. That's what the long and the short of it is, I think. Just look where it's going to land. Bam, bam. So it's going to burn up in the atmosphere. That is a bugger. No connection. No dear. Oh boy. Well, that was a fruitless fruitless freaking episode. We're going to uh, watch this pretty thing uh, turn into a glorified firework. And then we're going to come back next episode and we're going to launch another one. It's going to work. It's going to be the Umplik Nick 2. It'll be awesome. These actually, actually this is probably a good test to see where these blow up. So I'll let it go to like 1100 last time. Yeah, there it is. So 1,200, 1,300. They do actually make an okay heat shield at a pinch. That's not going to overheat. Thank you. There we go. So things you learn, huh? So we'll just put this under warp. Hurry it up. I like how it spin stabilizes itself. Whoa. It's gonna impact hard. Moon. The probe core survived. We can recover something. <laughs> uh, something's better than nothing. And stop. And stop. And stop. My God, that was bad.
nothing happened. 50% of value, that's pretty much as far away as it could be. <laughs> oh dear. Alright, I'll see you all very shortly for another episode of KSB Hard Mode.